On December 17, 1903, Orville and Wilbur Wright were the first to fly in a powered, heavier-than-air machine to achieve controlled, sustained flight with a pilot aboard. Named the Wright Flyer, the plane flew 120 feet in 12 seconds, traveling at 6.8 miles per hour. The Wright Flyer was later installed in the Smithsonian, which is currently on display at the National Air and Space Museum. The Flyer was restored in 1985. A piece of the original fabric was removed and flown in space on the Space Shuttle Discovery from April 12 to 19, 1985. We've been watching down here, and I mean all of America. And I want you to know that we're rooting for you all. The piece of fabric was then presented to President Reagan by Walter Boyne, director of the National Air and Space Museum, on June 19, 1985. Thank you for joining us for this week's Monday Minute in the Archives. Join us next week as we share our next treasure.